Man, if you want a community that you can walk, you can bike, you've got tons of parks and green space, pools, a brand new middle school, and uh, options to buy either maybe the early 2000s or all the way up until something that's brand new that they're just you know putting the paint on right now, let's get into it. I hope you guys are ready for this one. I am in the master plan community of Miller. This used to be the old Austin airport, so it's pretty cool they left the old um, air traffic control tower uh, and uh, you know just built around it but this entire development is over 600 um, acres uh, so it's quite large but it's still walkable like if you're in one corner it might take you I don't know half hour 45 minutes to walk to the far other corner but if you had a bike you could definitely bike around and they've set this community up really well to be able to walk or bike anywhere you want to go there's these giant bike lanes that are the width I mean they're wider than a car uh, a car lane on the street and uh, those are all over so you can take those all over you could jump on a scooter tons to do so definitely stay tuned for this video we're gonna jump into it I'm gonna take you guys I'm gonna get you up above so you can see um, you know get a bird's-eye view of some of uh, what's going on here I'm gonna take you into three homes as well so I've got uh, one new construction and then two that are resales but let me start out by showing you guys where Miller is located in relation to downtown Austin so downtown Austin is right here and Miller is right up here just off of 35 and to get there, it's uh, less than a five mile drive. Uh, you can take 35 and that'll get you there the quickest if there's no traffic, heading right into there. And then you've also got the University of Texas. That's about a three or four mile drive uh, from Miller. You also have easy access to you know all the parks down here. So Zilker Lake Park, Barton Springs Pool, uh, Lady Bird Lake, all the walking trails. You're about a five or six mile drive down 35 to get to that as well. So I wanted to start out by showing you guys Miller Lake Park. Give you guys a little, a little view of that. Oh, wow, huh? Miller Lake Park is located right here. It's gonna be on the west side of Miller. You can access it really easily right off of Airport Boulevard. Uh, you could also come down uh, Miller Boulevard and, and come into it that way if you were coming from you know, the north end of Miller. And then obviously there's all these other streets that will you know, get you there as well. Uh, Miller Lake Park is uh, really your biggest park here in the Miller community. Uh, it's got this giant lake with walking trails all the way around. Uh, it's got pavilions where you can hang out, you know, get out of the sun a little bit. Uh, it's got some beautiful steps that you can sit on if you want to just sit there and enjoy the lake. Uh, and then it has these uh, gorgeous walking trails and in green spaces, you know, grassy areas that you can just hang out in. So just an absolutely beautiful park. Next up, let's jump into uh, this area right in here. Uh, this you're going to find a lot of restaurants and uh, shops and things to do, and then also you'll have some condos and apartment buildings uh, going up above. You're also going to notice a lot of new construction happening in, in this same area, uh, with you know adding more retail and condo and apartment living above. So let's jump down on the ground, on the show map. you guys that. But you got Colleen's Kitchen uh, right over here. You've got uh, BD Riley's right behind me. So you guys can check that out. And I'll show you that as I walk by as well. You've got Sweet Green, one of my favorite uh, salad places right across the street. So you got, can see it right over there. And then you've got the Alamo Draft House as well. So we'll go spin you guys around so you can see that one um, so that is right there Alamo draft house boom so if you like to if you like to watch a movie and also have dinner at the same time and a couple drinks that's a great place to uh, go to I'm working hard to put together videos like this for you guys each and every week so if you're thinking of moving to Austin Texas and you're trying to learn more about this city definitely subscribe like the video throw a comment below I read every single one of your comments and I absolutely love them one other thing is I'm a licensed agent here in Austin and, and one thing I love doing even more than shooting these videos and learning these neighborhoods is helping you with your real estate needs I get calls texts, and emails from people just like yourself moving to Austin don't know where to live uh, each and every day and I absolutely love it my contact info my contact info is right there if you want to reach out here I'm just spin this around so you can see the view as you're walking down this sidewalk I mean it's huge 
And like I said, you know, you live in this community, you can walk here in, you know, a matter of minutes. Got a uh, Asian restaurant right across here, right over there. Uh, one medic, so you got the podiatrist, dentist, right over there. Another dental office right here, Swish Dental. The Lash Lounge over here as well. So we want to keep those lashes. I, I have not been going there, <laughs> uh, but I'm sure it's good. Spa, so you can get massages, massage heights. You got Orange Theory as well. So right behind me, you can see those. Boom, right over there. Uh, you got a ramen place right across the street, right over there as well. Wolf Gang Bakery, boom, right there. Everything, uh, every, every part of the family, whether they're human or animals, we got you covered here. And then I'm headed in the direction of Miller Lake Park. So you got an ice cream place, Lake Honest Ice Cream. So it's gonna be right back there, boom. And this thing over to my left, uh, this is the Thinkery. Keeps your, you know, challenges the minds of our, our of our young ones. So a cool place to hang out. If you've ever been to like a science center? It's similar to that. It actually used to be a school, and they converted it to this uh, thinkery. Um, so pretty cool, cool little spot. All right. So cooled off just a little bit. Had to take a break uh, from the heat. Had a little uh, iced tea at Holcon. Probably saying that wrong, but it's right over there. Highly recommend dropping by there if you get too hot. There's also the ice cream shop right next to it. Didn't have any ice cream. It's not that, uh, not that time of the, the time of the week, ice cream time, but uh, it, it looked pretty good. So right across the street from the uh, Miller Lake Park, right over there. See all the construction that's happening right uh, behind me, putting up a bunch more condos, apartments, retail, that sort of thing. So nice place to come on the weekend, hang out, you get the park, you can go you know, hang out with the family there, and then come for a drink, have some pizza, a beer. You got BD Riley's uh, Irish Pub right over here. So you can come over here and hang out, have something to eat. Uh, but what's cool about living here, uh, I think, if you have kids, is that you've got this huge Dell Children's Hospital complex. So, I mean, if you have any issues with your children, you've got world-class uh, emergency care and everything else. Uh, I'll show you guys here in just a minute. But the, um, the, the campus is huge. And I'll spin around here so you can see kind of where the front door is, if you will, uh, but it keeps going. So right behind me here, you can see that's, uh, that's the entrance there to the emergency services. And just, I'm gonna spin this around for you guys so you can see it here. But just a huge campus and pretty much anywhere here in this neighborhood. I mean, you could get to this hospital in, you know, maybe a 10 minute bike ride. I mean, it's, it's not far at all. So as far as shopping centers go, uh, grocery shopping, you're gonna have a huge HEB uh, right here. So you can probably see it right there. Boom, huge. So it's in your community, in the Miller community, pretty awesome right there. So pretty nice to have that easily accessible. You really don't have to go anywhere. You never have to leave your, <laughs> your, your community. I mean, th this place has it all. So I just left the HEB. I'm on the north end of Miller right now. Had to jump in the truck. I was gonna walk over to the um, Home Depot, uh, Best Buy Marshalls shopping area, which is really close to 35, but man, it is, uh, <laughs> it is a little bit too hot now. Yeah, it's about, uh, you know, 100, probably 105 right now. So a little on the warm side to be walking around uh, out in the, uh, out in the element. So just doing a, a short drive over here. I'm on uh, Barbara Jordan and this is running east and west. Um, I just crossed Miller, which heads uh, kind of north-south. Uh, it'll take you from the north end of Miller all the way through uh, kind of dissecting it back over to Airport Way. 
uh, which you'll be by Miller, Miller Lake Park. And then also uh, you're gonna have uh, restaurants uh, and some you know, businesses around there as well. So Barbara Jordan, um, I'm just coming up to the shopping center right now. And there's a ton of shops in here you guys will see. So I just pulled into the shopping center. As you can see, there's you got a ton of options as far as different stores that you can shop at. You've got everything from you know electronics to clothes to um, you know beauty supplies, and then you've got uh, a number of different restaurants as well. So you can grab a bite to eat up here. Uh, you even have a, another grocery store. You've got a Sprouts uh, Farmers Market, which is like a Whole Foods, uh, so kind of a natural food market. Uh, so really, just a, a ton of options. I mean, even the Total Wine. So if you want to stock up on some uh, beverages for the weekend, uh, you've got that as well. So just super convenient to have this much shopping within the same community. Uh, pretty amazing. You know, just a short drive or you know even a bike ride from your house. To really no matter where you are in this uh, community. So yeah, so this is one of the parks here. Here you got the beach volleyball you guys can see right behind me. Pretty fun. And then you've got, uh, you know, office buildings right back there. Nice place to, to play over here. And then you've got a cool little splash pad over here. You guys can probably hear it already. Man, I'd like to jump in there right now. <laughs> uh, Got the limestone blocks there with the water coming out. Pretty cool. Great for a day like this when it's over 100 degrees. Great to bring the kids here on the weekend. But just what a cool place, you know? I mean, you just come out here and hang out, get a little water. Oh yeah, nice and cool. Oh, what a beautiful place. You can come here, hang out on the weekends, or during the week, you know, you don't have to work during the week or you got a break. You got these little parks like this scattered throughout this neighborhood. It's really beautiful. Uh, a couple of them has pools. This one doesn't have a pool. It's got the splash pad and it's got the volleyball court. But a couple of the other ones have pools. Nice green open areas to play in. And then also uh, basketball courts and green spaces so lots of area to enjoy the outdoors so let's talk about the options for education for your children if you're living in the Miller community and I'm not going to cover your private school options because there are many options and it really just comes down to how far you want to travel to get your child to that school what programs are most important to you and how much you want to budget for that education as well so to focus on the, the uh, public school options, you're going to be inside of the Austin Independent School District. And for elementary, it's really going to depend on where you're living in the Miller community. As you can see, there's a dividing line that goes right up uh, Berkman Drive and then cuts kind of jig jigsaws across here, comes back up to Miller Boulevard uh, to get out to uh, 51st. So if you're on the west side of that dividing line, then your children will be assigned to Maplewood Elementary School. And this is, this is coming from greatschools.org. Uh, their rating is 5 out of 10. Now, remember, these ratings don't tell the whole picture. There's a lot of things to take into account. Now, if you're on the um, uh, east side of this dividing line, then your children are going to be assigned to the Blanton Elementary School. And that one is rated very similarly on greatschools.org, has a 4 out of 10. And then when you go from elementary to middle school, you're going to have two options as well, depending on where you're located in the neighborhood. Pretty much looking at the same dividing line, if you're on the east side of that dividing line, uh, your children will be assigned to the Lamar Middle School. That has a great school rating of 6 out of 10. And then if they're on the west side, if you're located on the west side of the community, then you're going to be looking at the Keeling Middle School, which has a greatschools.org rating of 7 out of 10. Now, there's also a brand new middle school that just got built in Miller. Uh, they just completed it, and they're taking on their first 
uh, wave of students this year in 2023. That is the Dr. General Marshall uh, Middle School. They spent $60 million on that. Uh, and they're going to start with a, a group of sixth graders this year, and they'll be ramping that up, uh, adding a grade every single year for the next three years until they get to about 800 children. And they'll be covering the grades of six through eight. And then when you get into your options for high school, you're going to be looking at really the same dividing line. If you're on the east side of Miller, you're going to be um, attending the Northeast Early College High School. That has a greatschools.org rating of 4 out of 10. And if you're on the west side of Miller, then you're going to be assigned to the McKellen High School, which has a greatschools.org rating of 7 out of 10. Next up, we're going to take a look at your housing options down in this lower half of Miller. And what you're going to notice uh, throughout this community is that there's a really nice variety of different building styles. They've used different materials as well. So you'll see homes with stucco exteriors, brick, uh, limestone, hardy plank, and then different building styles, everything from the um, farmhouse to more contemporary modern as well and there's a good mix of townhome and then also single family builds uh, so depending on what you're looking for and how much size you want the other cool thing i noticed about the homes in miller is that they all have their own garage and the garage is open to alleyways so when you're driving down the main streets you see the front of the house you don't see a bunch of cars all over the place uh, because most of the homes have at least a two-car garage and you're able to get your cars off the street so really nice and convenient and just makes the the neighborhood look a little bit cleaner i think now to give you guys a reference point, this is that brand new middle school that we just took a look at. And we're going to take a look at a few houses uh, down in this area of Miller. Now when it comes to new builds and uh, if you're looking for a townhome or a single family, uh, this area that I circled really is the kind of last area that they're putting in those type of homes. Uh, they're just running out of space. There's just really no more um, land that's that's plotted or you know planned for that type of development in Miller. You might find a little spot somewhere, but if you're looking for a brand new uh, townhome or single family, you're going to want to act pretty soon. There are new builds obviously happening uh, throughout the rest of the community, but most of the rest of the community uh, kind of in this area here, you're going to see the mid-rise with mid-rise condos or apartments with the uh, retail down below. Now the cool thing about living in the Miller community is that you are right butted up against this 18-hole uh, public golf course, the Morris Williams Golf Course. They have really reasonable rates, and uh, you know anybody can access really a world-class golf course uh, right at the right next to you know your your community. The other nice thing, if you're living in this bottom half of Miller, is that you're also going to be you know really close to this um, green space down here, the Southwest Greenway, and that Ryan winds um, all the way around and back up to here. So you got some nice uh, lake, little lake or waterway right there, same there, and then you can also connect up with the Miller Lake Park. And as we looked at before, that green space keeps going all the way up to 35. So let's jump down on the ground and take a look at these three houses to get a feel for what it might look like if you wanted to purchase a home in this community. So I'm going to take you guys inside of this listing here. This home was built in 2018. Uh, I'll show you on the map where we're located right now, but we're we're just off center a little bit. We're close to the golf course, so if you're if you like golfing, it's a you know short walk. We've got the uh, park right behind us with a pool, so really nice there. You can actually see it from your um, primary suite up top. I'll show you. Uh, but this home, it was built in 2018. Uh, it is a three bedroom, uh, two and a half bath. It's two floors. It's got a two car garage and it is listed right now for $8.99. So looking forward to showing you guys that. So let's go inside and we'll take a look right now. So right when you step inside, you're gonna be in your main living area. You'll have your living room off to the side here. Uh, nice view of the park. So if you guys can see that, 
you at the park and actually the pool is right over there. I can actually see the water from here. Even better view from upstairs. This home's two stories. Uh, all of your bedrooms are gonna be up on the top floor. Your kind of main you know, shared living area is gonna be down here on the bottom floor. So a really nice kitchen. You've got your you know, white countertops, white cabinets. Nice contrast to the floor. You got a nice you know, dark wood floor. And then you got your stainless steel appliances, which is nice as well. Uh, and then through this door here, you've got a little tiny side yard. So if you've got a dog or a little pet, you want to let them outside. You don't want to throw them on the leash and take them out to one of the green spaces. You can just open that door and let them out. So kind of nice. So right over through uh, these doors here, uh, this door right here, you're going to be going to your garage. You do have a half bath down here as well. So that's going to be right through here. Let's head up the stairs and let's take a look at what's up here. So right through this way, uh, what you're gonna see is, you know, one of the bedrooms. Right through here, you got your washer and dryer. And, uh, you got a bedroom here. This bedroom's a little bit bigger than the other one. Um, so you can check that out. You got your uh, full bath right here. And then this is your primary suite. This has really an amazing view. So I'm gonna spin around so you guys can see it here. Uh, looking through here, I mean, look at that. That's the park right there. You can actually see the pool, see the water. So pretty awesome. You know, if you had kids, you know, you could have them walk to the park depending on their age, you know, by themselves, or you, know, you could walk there with them, of course. Uh, and then you've got a little deck right here, which is kind of nice. I'm gonna go out here and sit and take in the view. So you got your shower tub set up right there. Little bathroom toilet closet, water closet, and then a walk-in closet right there. So they've done a, a really good job as far as, you know, utilizing the space in this home. It feels a lot bigger than 1,600 square feet. Um, and having all the bedrooms on one floor, you know, is, is a good way to kind of break it up. Cool, cool setup. All right, thanks, bye. All right, so we're coming up on a new construction home here in Miller. This is, we're down in the kind of southeast corner of the community. Uh, as you can see over to my side here, we got the golf course right behind us. So if you wanted easy access to that, uh, you could totally do it. Uh, you've got a nice bike trail here. Uh, you can see that right there. And then sidewalks on either side. This home is brand new, new construction. Uh, it's pretty unique because it has a garage apartment. Uh, and then the main home is three bedrooms and two and a half baths, two levels. Uh, this one's listed for 1.119 million. But yeah, let's take a look. Excited to show you guys. So the first thing I noticed, uh, it's very modern style and which I love, I think it looks great. Really open concept here on the main floor. So this house is two stories. Uh, and then you'll go through the back. You guys will see there's a courtyard and then a two car garage and above that's gonna be the studio apartment. Um, uh, so down here, you've got a half bath right over this way. Um, so this is gonna be your main dining area. And then that's gonna open up, you know, right to your you know, kitchen here. So you've got this. So let's take a look up the stairs. I'm gonna show you guys the second floor. That's where all your bedrooms are gonna be. And over here, you've got one bedroom here. Second bedroom is gonna be right here. They've got it set up as an office. So let you guys take a look at this, but you got, you've got a bathroom. So this is gonna be your full bath uh, right here. And then through this way, this is gonna be your primary suite. Uh, they got a big king bed in here right now. Uh, still plenty of room, uh, which is nice. You've got a big walk-in closet right there. And then right over here is gonna be your uh, primary bathroom. So you got this huge shower stall, which is nice. And then double sinks. Look at this so looking, um, garden apartment. I don't, what am I, why am I calling it a garden apartment? I guess maybe because there's this little courtyard, uh, more of a garage, garage apartment, sorry. Um, so we step out here, that's going to access, uh, you're going to go through to the alley and then that'll get you to the actual, you know, garage. Uh, if you want to park your cars and there's access below here, and then you got these steps. So if you got someone staying, they can park in the garage and come out underneath these steps, come on up, never even have to come in the main house. So if you wanted to rent this out, you know, to someone that, you know, wanted some privacy, they could totally do it. This is a nice open concept as well. They've used a lot of the same finishes. 
Um, so you'll see the same kind of waterfall feature with the cabinet or uh, countertop coming over and down. You got the stainless steel appliances as well. Whoops, running into <laughs> running into glass tables. I run into glass tables and then hanging hanging lights all the time. Um, and then through here, you're going to have your um, bathroom. So you got a full bath right here, and then uh, right over here, this is going to be your washer and dryer. Uh, so really great, great setup. They did a wonderful job with this. I love it when they have these. Um, you know, separate apartments or casitas, uh, you know, as part of the property, because it just gives so many more options. If you could use this as an office, uh, you know, you could run a business out of here. I mean, you could, you know, rent it out, have friends and family stay. I mean, so many different options. It's just really a cool, cool setup. All right, All right excited to get you guys inside of this home here. This is going to be on one of the largest lots that you're going to get here in Miller. It's a 50 foot lot. So you're actually going to have a little bit of a yard, which is nice. Uh, it's going to be at the top end of the price point. So this home is listed for 1.875 million. Uh, it's a uh, just under 3,600 square feet. Uh, four bedroom plus two additional rooms. It's got an office and a mother-in-law. I'll show you guys. It's really interesting how they set that up. Uh, and then a uh, two-car garage, uh, which opens up to the alley. So let's take a look. So as you walk in, you're going to notice it's nice open concept. Uh, this home is two floors. So on the first floor, you're going to have your office right off to the side here. And as you come through the rest of the home, you're going to have one of your bedrooms right off to the side here. And then you've also got a ensuite room as well. So this home has four and a half bathrooms, so plenty of bathrooms for everybody. Uh, and then you've got a half bath right here. Uh, and then this is your main living area. This is, you know, really beautiful how they've set this up and I'll let you guys spin around so you can see it, focus in on it. You've got nice white appliances uh, with the gold handles. Super, super classy. Uh, right over here, you've got your, your dining area. So it's nice they have that separated a little bit. We've got a huge table in here right now. So living room is right over here. So like I said, nice open concept. So, you know, you can have everybody hanging out right back here. Uh, you've got a nice little patio. So a nice little spot to hang out. Uh, this isn't technically a bedroom. I mean, because it doesn't have a closet, but I would call it a bedroom and it'd be perfect for, you know, friends or family that are coming to uh, stay with you. And then you've got a full um, ensuite bathroom with a shower right there as well. And then your garage is right through there. You got a big two car garage. Uh, they did a nice job of finishing the floor. So it's got that epoxy floor, which is pretty cool. Let me show you guys upstairs what we got going on. We got uh, one bedroom right off to the side here. Let you guys see that real. You head through this way, you've got your laundry room and then you've got a bathroom, full bathroom right there as well. And then you've got another bedroom over here. Uh, but this is your main living area upstairs. And then heading through here, you've got your primary suite. So this is nice and large. It's got the big vaulted ceilings, you know, little deck off the side. Actually, it's not that little, it's pretty large. Hey, what's going on? Yeah, they're gonna be doing a lot more development. Uh, they've got space to put in some more houses there. But beyond that, you are into that green belt that goes around pretty much the whole south half. And then over that direction, you can see that's the golf course. So if you like to golf, you know, you've got uh, easy access to that. And then let me show you guys this ensuite bathroom or the uh, primary bathroom. So nice tile, I got the uh, darker tile in here, a lot of space. You got the double sinks, you got stand up shower, uh, and then you got a big closet, you know, walk in closet as well. Hope you guys like this home. Uh, like I said, it's listed for 1.875. Great home and hope you guys like it. That's why you got to reach out. Uh, if you don't reach out, you aren't going to know what those spots are and you can walk around all day like I am uh, in 105 degree weather or you can just reach out. We'll do it right for you. <laughs>